Oh, look what we found. So, hello guys, and yeah, welcome to another episode. So, on my way home, I spotted this weird water village. So, let's go and check it out, see what they have to offer. So, okay, call for emeralds, emeralds for iron helmet, not a good deal at all. Oh, you trailed rotten flesh, we actually have a lot of that. And didn't I tie you to this? Yeah, that's correct. What do you have, blacksmith or armor? Okay, wait, was that the same guy or no? That's a different guy. There's another armor here. Okay, so we know what to do. We can bring a lot of coal to this village because it looks like there's a lot of armors over here. And I know, I know, I'm gonna go check out the blacksmith because that's all we want. Oh, we found a diamond! And apples, and iron, and one piece of bread. We're gonna leave this for here, or here for now, or actually we won't. We don't need what they did. Actually, we're gonna leave this here, we're gonna just take the diamond. So, anyways, here yeah, the village. Would be interesting when the village and pillage update comes, because there's a lot of clerics over here. So, we can trade our rotten flesh and are uh, <laughs> huge amounts of coal for, well, emeralds. And then we can make a buck, as you can see, like, the first trade is okay, but the second trade is horrible. Like, seven emeralds for one iron axe? No thank you. But the coal for 21 coal for one emerald, what do you have? 24 coal for one emerald, 23 coal, so this guy looks like he's cheap fast, okay. And there's one more, let's see, what do you say about- Oh, there's two more! You say 21 coal, oh, you give me a better deal, 22 coal. And what do you have, second trade? Enchanted iron shovel. Well, that's not good either way. And look at all of them in that house. And... Weaponsmith? Oh! You also want coal, like this village is full of weaponsmiths and one library? <gasps> That's good. Okay, we need to trap you somehow. Because fortune tree, even though probably we can get it easily, we might need it. So how do I trap you over here? Uh, yeah, that looks like it's correct. I don't think zombies can kill you. Someone over here? Nope. Okay, anyways, nice little village. I think we- Whoa, we want 40 rotten flesh while this other guy offers me less for more or ask for less and gives him same shit. Yeah, two more. But I have two clerics at my home, so we will see. Let's go back home. So, on our way home we had an accident as you can see and this is all it's left from the super speed jumper horse and as you can see that by crazy driver driving in ravine but i have good news and good news is that we bred those two horses and got kind of let's say replacement it doesn't jump so high i mean it can't jump up here but he's pretty fast so yeah at least we got something in return. Oh, also, and we also got those two guys. Conveniently, two zombie villagers spawned in front of my house, so I invited them in. And yeah, as you can see, this guy has crap traits, and this guy has a okay trait. I guess we can utilize the, all the string we have to see like if he can change his trait to something more worthwhile okay that's shit trade my guy oh and by the way i don't know if i mentioned that but we are in 1.11 which is exploration update so let's see hmm in exploration updates we got you know the woodland mansions well the i don't know respawning ender dragon maps, sunken ships, and who knows what else. So, in this episode, it's my quest to find some of those things, and let's hope I can be successful, because, you know, 
that's a lot of exploring, but that's what this ability is about. Oh, and also, if I'm not wrong, we can respawn the Ender Dragon. So, one of the episodes we will do it, so we can just fight him again and go get Elytra and to end cities and all those good stuff. So, I always wanted to do this, and that is this thing. Yeah, that. No! So I did some farming and realized we can respawn the Ender Dragon. All we need is just a bit of a glass panes, Ender Eyes, no, yeah, Ender Eyes, and yeah, like for Ender Eyes and Gas Tears. So we do something like this, and we do something like this, and Okay, obviously we can't respawn any dragon, or I'm doing something wrong. So I realized my mistakes, it's not glass panes, but it's glass. And we need four of those, so we got four of those. But the only question now is, can we respawn the ender dragon? Why am I asking that? Because I didn't reset the end, and we have the old end world generated. Now, if I would go to the end in this version, where stuff works different, would it reset or no? I am gonna check it out. Fucking shits, little zombies! And what am I supposed to do now? No, that's... Oh my god, that's... I don't wanna kill you, but... I risk of having a villager... Yeah, F off. Why are the arrows bouncing off you? What's happening? Stupid zombies, I hate them so much. Why do they burn in daytime? What's the problem? And I now have this guy running around my house, which I totally didn't want. Okay. Why I don't want them running around the house? Because if I let them run around, they are 100% gonna get themselves killed. Like, I know that. Or wander into another portal or just simply stop existing are you kidding me what are you doing there and how did okay i give up i don't know how to use bow like how the hell did i hit you jesus okay so the moment of truth let's see what happens we are in the end and and end <laughs> and as you can see this is the old end where the towers weren't like, you know, pro put up proportionally. So if it turns out this doesn't work, what I'm gonna do is delete this end world and well respawn the end dragon that way because actually who knows, let's try. I don't know even if I could go back or if I respawn it without killing him and absolutely nothing is happening. Well, I guess the only thing that's... How is the tower... What? How is the tower still alive? And there's a big chunk of XP over there. We didn't pick up. Oh, yep. So basically we just wasted four ender pearls. It's not like we have shortage of them, but... What is that? Like the smallest tower I have ever seen. And for some reason, Dragon didn't heal off it, and for some reason, as you can see, I didn't destroy it. But yeah, I don't know what's over there, if the end city is spawned anyways, but there's not like any way I can go over there safely, so I guess deleting the end is the only option for us right now. What? What? Oh my god. What? This is probably my first death in this episode. And it is gonna be the most... Why do you keep getting unleashed? It's gonna be the most stupidest death ever. So... <laughs> I threw an ender pearl. And it teleported me to the crystal and of course the crystals explode on the getting damaged and I just exploded 
Oh, I hope my stuff is not missing. I hope my stuff is not missing because I really wanted to go exploring this episode. So every time I come back, this guy gets his leash off for some weird reason. Anyways, in the tragic death we just had, I lost my sword. So back to the grinding and making another great sword. Actually, you know what? Since this episode is about exploring, I'm gonna use this old diamond sword. I'm not gonna bother. Not gonna bother and go out, you know, get a new sword and all that, so yeah, let's explore. So yeah, organize my inventory bit and let's go. So we are going that way. And yeah, we are just gonna go follow one straight line so we don't get lost, even though we have coordinates, you know. What the hell is that? I'm pretty sure I was over this way in one of the episodes and there wasn't a village over here. Okay, I remember the jungle, but I don't remember half torn apart village with savanna biome and it being a desert village in... What is happening over here? Let's explore. So it looks like we have a villager. Yeah, to you too. And this weird world generation, I don't know what happened here. Okay, you can hide in here from zombies, like there's no way they can get you over here. And this has to be the smallest farm i ever seen. Okay, let's see what we have up here. We have carrots, we have more villagers. And we have this guy who is living down there. We have a rain going on and this is a desert, so there's no rain over here. Or savanna. And yeah. There's nothing interesting in this city, since this is still old village and they sell the general stuff, Thorns tree, okay we don't need that and great, I didn't want to fall down here let's get not... let's not die again using ender pearls oh look we found bunnies, I don't think I have ever found bunnies before in <laughs> minecraft, not by the natural way so I just realized I can turn off the weather sounds and looks like we are getting to the new land because you see this is where we generated the world and this like slices is where the new, well, <laughs> new land begins so let's try and find something interesting and as soon as I end the video <laughs> and or cut the video not the end the video look at that there's a village right ahead of us. So yeah, let's see what those dudes have to offer to us. Like, as you can see, this is still the old, old Minecraft uh, village generation, but soon we are gonna get the new villagers and... Oh, here is the nitwit, the guy without the job. Okay, wait, is that a pumpkin? No, that's for potatoes. Oh, this makes way more sense because we have pumpkins, I mean potatoes, we have... <laughs> Sugar. We have carrots. We have everything they want because their trades are a bit better now. But do you do? Yeah, you're a bit better. Oh god! A zombies. Okay, don't run out, you do it, stupid guys. I want to see what you are trading. Okay, that's bad trade. That's a bad trade. That's a. Eh bad trade and there's a villager dying somewhere around here from a zombie baby oh yeah here it is no 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 leave him alone we're gonna need them maybe not this village but the other villages alive were you one getting assaulted i don't know i don't care oh and there's a blacksmith let's see there's no one here there's a guy here but there's a blacksmith, let's see what kind of loot we can get. Obsidian, saddle, bread, iron ingots, iron helmets, and a bit of gold and apples. Well, okay. I guess that's okay if we were starting out. What we are looking at is diamonds. So basically what I'm looking at, or what I'm looking for, is Woodland Mansion. And would you look at that, there's a... <laughs> how do you call it? The, the forest? the black forest, whatever it is called, spawning over here. So maybe as we are lucky with all those world spawns, 
we might get a woodland mansion, who knows? Well, would you look at that? I didn't find a woodland mansion, but we found a witch which almost killed our horse. So let's go and get some revenge to her. Hello, witch bitch. I'm ready for round two. Come on, come out. Oops, yeah. That's what I told you, you won't wanna come out. Well, I'm gonna kill you anyways. Okay, where did you... Why do you act like a villager? You should come out and attack me. And yeah, that's what you get for attacking my horse. So I just turn around and hear an explosion since when do creepers fight skeletons? Like, I know that when creepers get hit by a skeleton, they just like continue their normal work and they walk towards you trying to kill you but look how many of them are maybe there was some bug that you know creepers when hit by skeleton did explode who knows oh my god we found more horses now the only problem is we are far far away from home but what if one of those horses is a premium horse let's find out okay i think this guy is a winner because he just sprint up here and he seems to be really fast just by him running away from me well yeah he looks to be pretty fast and has a decent jump height well you know what we might just take you to be our temporary companion let's just test out the other horses okay this guy is absolute crap he doesn't go fast at all, he can jump, but it's eh. So let's go on another one. Okay, this guy would win Olympics in jumping, but his speed is kind of lacking. But look at that jump. That's like five blocks, even higher than the last guy. You know, I actually wonder if those, the white stallions, would make any difference, because, you know, Usually the white horses are premium horses and all that shit, so... Oh, and look at that, a skeleton is getting chased by a wolf. Okay, neither this guy is good and that skeleton is still getting chased by the dog. And he wants to shoot at me, but... Yeah, the dog is not letting him. Good job, dog. Go on him. Okay, I don't know what's up with those horses, but they jump so high. But they're so slow, I want a fast horse. I think we found our fast horse, I don't know, like there's so much horses to test and ow. And tame and you know, probably die to the skeletons over here. So yeah, let's just waste them. Oh and look at that, we found llamas. Hello llamas. Okay, looks like we found another dark forest or however it's called. So, finger crossed, we get the Woodland Mansion, even though we would probably die. But hey, it would be fun. So, only thing we found is this village, and I crashed when I found it, so... I don't see that as a good thing, because crashing doesn't mean good things. But hey, oh look at that, it's a beetroot! I don't think I found beetroot, no no no, my dude. Let me have some beetroot. I don't know what it is used for. It's okay, I can eat it, but it doesn't look like it restores a lot of HP. But hey, one day, when we update to the village and pillage update, you guys gonna be useful. Like 10 times more useful than you are now. And I think you would spawn more, but look at this, this looks like a proper village if you look at it. Like, you have guys on the hills, you have farms in the middle and around the town, you have a church over there, a house there. It's pretty decent. So okay, other than finding villages, I'm not finding anything of interest. Like, hey guys, I actually think I never saw a village before the update, like this kind of village, so that's interesting. Let's see what the black meat has. Absolutely useless things, but okay, we're gonna rob you anyways. 
and let's see so you have you efficiency too okay i don't expect much from trades because you know this is old minecraft you have carrots farms and yeah that's all she wrote in this village there's really nothing more interesting that we can loot because those guys only the blacksmith has used like head chests other villages like other village houses didn't have anything on yeah as you can see they were pretty bland and the only thing we are finding are more villages jesus Whew. okay let's get out of here that was rough that was really rough i was like oh there's a cave over here no there's a ravine no no there's and there's a minecraft okay we might go explore, we might not go explore because we have full inventory, but those guys have really nothing of interest for us. Like, do you have nitwit? And I don't see a blacksmith over here. Let's go. Do you have a church? No, you don't have anything. This is like some old kind of style village. You know what? Since I'm not finding anything. I think that would be it for this episode because honestly there's really no much content for us unless we go or until we get the village and pillage update because those guys are useless the villagers are useless if we keep spawning them it's gonna be bad only thing we can go and try is find the woodland mansion but I doubt we will find it because I heard people go like sometimes 20,000 blocks out and who knows how many blocks out just to find one so yeah with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a bit of a random video because there wasn't much going on, but you know, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, subscribe and see you guys next time, bye!